Jewel, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. This man is talking to me while I'm asleep. That's so rude. He's so rude. He makes me do all the work. Hey, we got music. He makes me do all the work. And now he wants to wake me up while I'm sleeping. Rude. I'm the resident representative. You better let me represent in my sleep, boy. I'm tired. <coughs> we got a light. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. I slept that long? Oh, ho, ho. Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to your life on our paradise island. Or, in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes. Oh, we get a phone in this game? Bruh! It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made specially for Island Residents. Uh, I want to make sure it's working right now, so could you try turning it on for me? Hmm? Bruh, we get a whole phone in this game? What are all these apps? <laughs> Where's Twitter? Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put away now. Nah, bruh, explain these apps. Which one's the, the social network? Say, Jewel, have you ever used a smartphone before? Uh, let's go with no, never. I want him to explain this to me. <clears throat> nope, never. Is that so? How wonderful of you. I dare say you seem especially well suited for life on this rustic island. <laughs> Nevertheless, I believe you'll find this Nook phone quite handy, so do take the time to learn how to use it. I have one more thing for you. It's a contract. You finna give me the... Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. He was gonna give me the sign of my life away. It's an itemized bill. And there we go. Money's in the top right corner. I'm blocking it. Of course I'm blocking it. Let's, let's fix this now. There we go. Better, right? <laughs> so this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. Hmm? Bro, this bill is going to be big. Look at this bill. How am I supposed to pay for this Nook? I ain't got no money. I'm living on a tent on a deserted island. Bring your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Uh, what are bells? <laughs> what are bells, Tom Nook? Oh, 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 good one, Jewel. Wait, you're being serious. Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on Homeland. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fee so with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles simply by living your life here on Homeland. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your moving fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your moving fees, but with this new service. Would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. Okay, I'm with the shit, Tom. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Would you gonna give me a Fitbit? Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open your Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. 
I am so happy to have you as a resident of Homeland and a client of Nook Inc. I knew, I knew I was gonna get scammed. I was waiting on it. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! From now on, island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right corner, or top right screen corner. You can also save and quit your uh, game after pressing minus. That's that one there. Okay, so our phone. Oh, in the clock to the bottom left. Okay, dope. Our phone is ZL. That's this one. Okay, so we got a camera. We got Nook Miles, custom designs. Rescue service. Bro, what the hell is gonna happen on this island? <laughs> Why we got a whole rescue service? We have our passport. And then we have the map. Oh, I guess like an actual map versus that nonsense. I'm with it. Okay. So let's see. I just wanted to see what it looked like on the on the playback. Okay, let's check the mail. <coughs> We got mail from Nintendo. How the hell? Dear Jewel, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. So we're going to take the present and put it in our pocket. Uh, Dear Jewel, congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate this fresh start, we would like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. All right. We'll check those out later. How much stuff can I hold? Can I hold more than this or not? Nah? <laughs> I want to be able to hold more than that. Okay. Uh, what what are we what are we gonna do first on our island? Let's get let's let's gather some fruit. How do I how do I pick it up? There we go. <laughs> let's gather some fruit. Until we, we can find something, like, something actual to do, you know? Let's run into an event. What's happening? What's happening on the island today? What are you doing, um, young, young nookling? Oh, Jewel, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Uh, where, where is, um, resident services? Let's, let's use our map on our smartphone. Check the map for your current location. You can also press X. That's that one here. To choose the settings and choose where to display the minimap during your data. Oh, oh, well, I, I want it. I, I need it there. I need it in my life. Wait, where's resident? Oh, that's resident services. And what's this? The airport. So we can leave this island if we need to, right? Like we can book. I don't need, I don't need, what's it called? Emergency services. I don't need anything if I can leave this whole ass island. All right. So that's resident services there. What is it about mini-map? Always off, always on, off while moving. That's that's perfect, actually. <clears throat> let's look at the rest of that, yo. Let's look at that later. Let's, let's, let's look at the camera, at least. We're going to play with this camera. Camera, take pictures using various filters and effects. Uh, the pictures will be saved to the album on the home menu, and other users who use the same system will be able to see them. Okay, so that's just to keep me in mind that uh, that is a thing. Oh, bit! I can move anywhere I want in this picture. Can I pose? What? Hang on, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so I'm hitting R, and that's like turning the eyes so it's looking towards me as best it can, like me, me as best it can. Versus facing whatever direction the body is facing. I want to pose though. Why can't? Oh, we probably gotta unlock poses. That's that's a normal thing. They have black and white. There we go. 
It's a film. <laughs> it's a film, um, it's a film thing. Uh, let's get this picture. Let's zoom in. Oh, I can move the whole camera. Okay, so come over here towards this orange tree. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now you come over here. And I can zoom in and out. Can I move it just a little bit more? That works. That, that'll be alright. I'll be alright with this. This is dope. This is dope. Um, let's take the picture. Dope! No frame. No good. Oh! That's what that no, no, redo it! Redo it! It is a day on the island where the wind is blowing. Butters are flying. And it's quiet. Alright, let's get up out of here. Let's let's stop playing around. <coughs> Alright, apparently I just got a notification on my on my on my ZL phone. I guess not. Alright. What else we got on the island today? Um, take that. There's not too much on the island, so I guess we just need to play around with resident services. Oh, the bull excuse me, the bulletin board. For those of you who don't know, if there's a yellow bird on the bulletin board, that means there's something new. So you know you don't waste your time. Okay. Island bulletin board. We'll use this board to post important services or excuse me, important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. Tom Luke. I can make a post, but I'll make one later. Because it's 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 kind of it's kind of funny. <laughs> Making posts is kind of funny, unless that's changed too. Resident services. Otherwise known as where I pay my bill or my debt. Ah, uh, Jewel, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. If you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, Tom Nook. Oh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. One more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful. So I do hope you take me up on it. Hmm? Okay, I've heard this. I've heard. I've heard the rumors. <laughs> I've heard the rumors that you can do crafting in this game, and I'm with it. I love crafting. Ah, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? Oh, oh. We're still setting up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. Great. Of course, I'm broke, so I'm not buying anything y'all selling right now. Uh, they have a whole tissue box, which is great for this time. Uh, and then a director's chair. And then, let's see, if I hit R. Oh, we go to... M oh, no, these are other things. These are the things that I want. So they got a flimsy fishing rod, which I'm not a fan of that, that F word. Uh, a flimsy net, that same word again, Yeesh. a flimsy watering can, what is it, when you pour the water, does it vibrate like jello? A slingshot, and plants. Do they have rose, oh, DIY for beginners. A slingshot recipe, oh, oh. Do they have roses? Yes, they have yellow roses. Listen, one of the things I want to do this time around, I, I, don't, I, I haven't done this before, Definitely not on the channel. I don't have the patience for it. I want to cultivate the the famous, the infamous, excuse me, black rose. 
I want some black roses. We will have black roses. We'll get there. And then he's selling oranges that I can find outside. Anything catch your eye? We're not just sellers. We'll also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on this island. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, we'll even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, I would like to know if you would buy something. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Let's start with these weeds. How much are, How much is one weed? <laughs> how much is one weed, uh, uh, Timmy? A clump of weeds. Sure, how about if I offer you ten bells? Sold. You know, I can't do anything else with them. Take, take these weeds, Bell, or, or Timmy. Okay, so if we if we do a little bit of island cleanup. Yo, why does this keep beeping? Is it because I didn't check all these? We're going to check it, but not in front of Tom Nook. I see him getting, like, really giddy. Really giddy because I pulled my phone out. What, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Um, let's talk about the workshop. Let's talk about that. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it would be quite useful for island life, hmm? So, shall I put you down for the next available session? Yes. I'd love to. Yes, yes. That's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Tom, look, this is not how I plan to spend my day. They gonna be mad at me. <laughs> People gonna be mad at me. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit. Hmm. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench, like this one. So, today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we will require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. There's that F word again. Y'all better be careful. I'm gonna give you, y'all gonna give me a, uh, Shadow posted. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need five uh, twigs, and I have nine. Or five twig branches, rather. <coughs> ah, Jewel, found the necessary materials. Mm -hmm. Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Alright. So we have the flimsy, ooh, I said the word. Uh, we have the fishing rod. It's a one by one. What does that mean? That's gonna be interesting, what does that mean? It, oh, when I drop it on the ground, maybe? Let's craft it. Let's craft it. Oh, man! <coughs> I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Mm -hmm. And that concludes my free DIY. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> this man's gonna charge me to build my own stuff. <laughs> this man this man comes up with new ways to get money out of me every game. Oh, this is one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Oh, what well, we got? That fist bump app? I ain't see that on the phone unless that's in emergency services. <coughs> oh, there we go. My bro, my boy just sent me an app. Look at that. He just sent me a whole app. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use at any time. In the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Yeah, that's animals or fauna. I was about to say, wait, wait a minute, man. Alright, so I have a rule. I have a rule. Bye, Tom. I have a rule. Um, when you go fishing, 
<clears throat> the first time you catch a fish, it needs to go to the museum. We ain't got no museum. We ain't got no museum. So we're gonna we're gonna sell it. <laughs> we're gonna sell any fish we find. Let's go fishing. I wonder if I can. Okay, so I hold it like this. There used to be a way to easily quick swap it in and out. Oh, I got it! Yeah! Now if I do this... Okay, so down on the control pad puts it away. Left and right lets me switch between items. Because I only have one, it's not going to let me. I'm with it. Hey! Uh, Phoebe's fishing. Wow, my heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. Alright, I'm gonna leave you alone, Phoebe. I'm gonna go fishing. Fishing, I'm gonna be real with you. Fishing is one of my favorite things to do in this game. That's genuine. That's a genuine feeling. Let's go fishing. Now I know I need to tap A. As soon as it actually bites, as soon as the bobber drops below the water. Two. Three. I wonder if it goes to five this time. Three. Four. There we go. Our first fish. A bitterling. It's mad at me, but only a little. Dope. What else we got here? I kind of want to keep a fish as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> the bitterling will be our will be our our pet for the time being. They're our first friend that I wasn't forced to make on this island. I see. I know I can sell oranges. I'm I'm assuming oranges aren't going to sell as much as foreign fruit would because you know this is this is not so much a, a hot commodity. My boy is selling oranges out the bando, so I know. That means uh, they, they're not as valuable as, say, an apple would be, or uh, a pear. Which means I'm gonna need to visit other people. Can I pick up this rock? I can pick up this rock. Okay, okay, game. Nothing is out of trick. I was gonna see if it was gonna drop random stuff. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. I don't want this to go south already. Um, I'm gonna need to visit some friends. Which means I'm going to need to have some friends with Animal Crossing. What I'll do in the description and then below the video right now, I suppose, I will have, um, I'm sorry, not below the video, below my face cam. I guess I will have, um, I guess I'll have my friend Coke. So you can add me. I'm not too picky on, on who, who gets added. Ooh, let's see if I can steal this fish right in front of Phoebe. I know some of my friends from work will, um, my friends from work, some friends on Discord, will be... Shit, I pressed it immediately, because I'm a dummy. Uh, I know some of my friends from work and some of my friends on Discord will be visiting my town. I just ask that they behave. I'm trying to take care of my town. Or my island, excuse me. I'm old. There we go. It's another bit of link. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if I can catch one more fish. Yo, let's pick some weeds. Are these weeds too? Yeah, those are all weeds. Okay. That's not a weed. That's a weed. These are all weeds. There's nothing but weeds on this island. Ain't this some shit? <laughs> they want me to clean up this whole island myself. Am I hitting the wrong button? I sure am. I guess we go clean up. We're at least gonna clean up my my backyard. You know, I chose this area because of the view. We can't have weeds in our view. Oh, I really put Buck really close to me, huh? All right, I'll deal with it. That's that's on me. That's on me. Oh well, Buck is my neighbor. All weeds, right? Jesus Christ. Okay. 
We're gonna we're gonna do some real island cleanup. That'll probably be something that I do off camera. Not because it's boring, but I don't wanna waste y'all time. Y'all didn't y'all didn't come here to watch me pick up weeds, or did you? I'll clean up. I'll clean up more off camera. I just wanna get these weeds out. So I have something else to sell to, to young Timmy. I'll even clean up for Buck because you know he's my neighbor, and his 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 yard has an effect on the value of my my house. So you know what? I'll clean up just this once. All right, let's let's go back in here and and talk real quick. Alright, so let's do some selling. Welcome, Jill. How can I help you today? Alright, so we're gonna sell some stuff. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Uh, let's... Uh, can I sell more than one thing at once, or y'all gonna make me go through it all? Shit. Oh, no, I can't sell more than one thing at once. I have to confirm my voice. All these oranges. We'll keep the rock. I feel like that's a crafting thing. I wanna see how much the fish is worth. Look at all these fine things you brought in today. Allow me to just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 4,520 bells. Sound good? So, Please come again. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat fruit, like, when you eat food like fruit, you'll become, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. So, Eating actually has a purpose this time around. Look at that shit. Animal Crossing made such strides in video games. <laughs> has anyone shared that with you? What I mean is, you could break open rocks or even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Bruh. Bruh. Now, it's time for you to sell me your fruit. It's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while too. Bro, we gotta keep some some fruit on hand. I want to see this. I want to see my boy eat uh uh get excited once I eat a fruit and destroy a whole tree. Uh, let's see how much the the bitterling is worth. A bitterling, sure. How about I offer you nine hundred bells? I'm I'm with it. That was okay. That's okay. All right, let's get up out of here and not pay our debt. I'm gonna check the phone. I wanna see um how the miles work. How many miles have I? Cause if I could avoid it, I'd rather not give this man any of my money. <laughs> None of my money this time around. Nook Miles. Uh, Nook Miles, you've enrolled in the Nook Miles program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop in the Resident Services Center. Earn, uh, make the most out of island life. Earn Nook Miles. Okay, so these are basically like achievements. I was thinking this was um, I was thinking this was literally a way to pay this man off if I get so many steps in. Uh, Homeland Miles, you've traveled a long way just to move to our little island and you enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. So you earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by just enjoying island life. Let's claim those miles. 500 miles, we are already a tenth of the way done. I'm with it. Angling for perfection. Learning how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island. Mm -hmm. Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become Fishing Masters. So I've got two on this first die. It looks like I need eight more for these miles. Island Togetherness. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is Resident Togetherness. Our Gregarious Greetings Initiative aims... What the hell? <laughs> initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with residents. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. Okay, so let's let, we'll go talk to somebody real quick. You've got the bug. Earn miles just for catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. Ten bugs uh, for the first one. I'm going to make an assumption 
that I could probably use the weeds as part of crafting for the net. Have a nice DIY. Nook Inc. will award Nook Miles for the number of DIY recipes you've collected. Think about that. You're earning for learning. Yes, yes. DIY tools. If your tools break, just make more. And to take away the sting, you'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of tools you craft. Sweet deal. Greedy weeder. Um, Nook Inc. salutes you for your beautification efforts. Nook Inc. rewards you with Nook Miles for selling weeds. Nook Inc. is quite generous, no? Let's get those miles. <coughs> uh, we got 300 for that. So we unlock keywords. Flower power. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and can earn you miles. So grow wild. Yes, yes. Uh, pick of the bunch. You'll get Nook Miles based on the amount of fruit you've sold. Remember, if you sell our island specialty fruit on other islands, you might be able to get a better price. Let's get those miles. All right, 300 there. We're over a tenth of the way. Go ahead, be selfish. You can earn Nook Miles based on the number of seashells you sell. That's not easy to say. And remember, you'll get different amounts of bells for different types of shells, so pay attention. Castmaster. Cast your line carefully if you want to reel in this reward. You'll need to nab a bunch of fish in a row without a single one getting away to earn these miles. Okay, I'm with the shit. Hoard reward. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you a num uh will give you Nook miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have. So you're earning rewards for making your house a home. Island Shutterbug. First off, how many of these are there? Congratulations on taking your first island photo. Please do show off your wonderful photos, whether they're impulsive snaps or brilliant compositions. Let's get those miles. Three hundred more. Edit credit. Your passport has some information that you can edit. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles for folks who customize their profiles. Take it slow, think about it, and make it your own. We'll do that next. Let's sell the passport out. Jesus, how many more? Oh, Jesus, we're not going through all these, bro. <laughs> we're not going through all these. Uh, we will look at uh, this one that's finished, though. Let's do it that way. As, as, they, become un as they become complete, we'll, we'll look at it. Seller of unwanted stuff. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few extra bells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. Let's get those miles. And I think that was the last one that we finished. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so just starting out, we're already almost, what, 20% done? Oh, I'm sorry, 40% done. Okay, let's look at the passport, because that was one. <coughs> passport. Your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players when visiting another island, for example. You can change your photo, title, or comment anytime, at any time. Customize them to show off your style. Alright, let's get to it. Let's edit the photo. Oh, I have to take a new picture. I can do it here though. Oops, I can't move though. Can't move though. Okay. Okay, so I know, I know, I know that now. Uh, let's edit the title. Let's, ooh, I see what they did. City folk. <laughs> New Leaf. They don't have one just for the first one. They have Happy Home. So let's see, there's Animal Crossing. That was GameCube. The next was the Wii with... Oh no, the DS. What was the DS? The DS was Wild World, wasn't it? The D... Ooh, I'm gonna make a mistake. <laughs> I know that the Wii... The Wii one was City Folk. Was it? Did they have two for the Wii? I forget. One, one City Folk, one of the... City Folk is either DS or the Wii, and the other one is Wild World. Animal Crossing Pocket is the phone. New Leaf is the 3DS. Happy Home is the Wii U. Oh, is that the Wii U? Happy Home Designer? I think that's the Wii U, but we're not going to talk about that. No, no. Happy Home is part of the 3DS one. And that's some stuff. We've been, we've, it's been a long time. Okay. So we're gonna go with messy, definitely messy for my, 
for my title. Messi. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> We're using that one. Do we want to comment? I got to type it out. No, nah, we don't want to comment. Then. All right, let's go back to Nuke Miles and get that passport one. Edit credit, is that it? Yes. Edit credit. Let's get those miles. Dope. 40%. Okay, but th there was another one that was easy. The bulletin board one is simple. I just need to post something on the bulletin board. I'll do that. I'll do that in between episodes. Like I said, it's not gonna be fun. The custom design. I'm ready for custom designs. So we can make our own clothes and furniture. It goes on furniture this time. I forgot. I forgot. They did that in the, um, what's it called? They did that in the 3DS version too. All right, so today, today might end up just being a, a fishing day. Let's go catch one more fish and then we can call it. We're already, we're already having a, a, a good old time here in Homeland. Oh, the water's going that way. Okay. Let's do it this way. We're already having a good old time in Animal, in uh, in uh, what's this called? <laughs> oh, man. There we go. A pale chub. That name seems a bit judgy. All right, I think we're we're good to go ahead and call it here for today. I'm gonna play later. We're gonna make one more episode. Let's make one more for our first day here on uh here on Homeland. But today we're gonna go ahead and call it. Or for right now we're gonna go ahead and call it. I'm I'm tired, hungry, and I got something to do in a little bit. Let's see. It said I can save by hitting minus. Here we go. Where we wrap things up for now. Save and end. Alright, see you guys in the next one.